some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Nebraska where a soft tart has been pulled over for no plate on his front end and the expired plate on his rear end and, uh, well, no insurance. So he's uh, pretty much running the gauntlet of soft tart offenses here. And he thinks he's somewhat of a legal genius considering he spouts off practically nothing, gives no citations or anything like that, says the Supreme Court is on his side, but like I said, no citations presented. And that's just the tip of the iceberg with this moron. So let's just go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Jamie, pulled over. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Hey, it's not because you don't have a front plate, but also your plates are expired. That doesn't sound like a valid reason to pull me over. Yeah. Well, no front plate is a valid reason, and then the expired plates are also a valid, re a valid reason. So, do you have a driver's license with you, sir? Do you have a search warrant? Hey, you lead paint drinking soft tart. Uh, first of all, you do need a driver's license to present to the officer upon request at a traffic stop. And here is the Nebraska Penal Code for that particular issue right there. And then there's the little matter of not having any plates on your car or expired plates. Which there is a statute for that too, dude. So you may want to think about actually pulling your head out of your ass and uh, looking these things up rather than uh, posting this video on YouTube to make yourself look like a total dumbass of the year uh, award nominee. I don't need a search warrant. Yeah, you do. You have probable cause? Yeah, the plates. That's not probable cause. Uh, there's no crime being committed. Okay. If you'd like to see it that way. Well, that's that's law. Okay. Dude, I don't think you know what the law is and is it at this point. I mean, I've already pointed out at least two issues with what you've been doing right here. And I have a feeling there are going to be a lot more to come. So at this point, uh, I'm going to say your ability to understand what any law is is about the same as, uh, well, our friend Chile de Castro, who recently got arrested. He thought he knew the law, and, uh, well, he got uh, taken out of the courtroom in handcuffs here recently. So, yeah, you're about on his level. Or lower. Okay. I'll just have you stay here for a minute then and I'll get another car here. And sure, we'll go ahead. Take care of things, okay? Alrighty, sir. Go ahead and roll down your window. It's down. And I'm going to ask you again for your driver's license, registration, and insurance. I can hear you just fine. Uh, you're going to have to roll down the window so I can hear you. I can hear you just fine. Well, I can't hear you though. Well, that's not my problem. Okay, but I'm telling you the reason for a traffic stop is... It's an unlawful. No front it's an unlawful. And expired. Go so get. There's two traffic violations. I okay? want a sergeant. I want to speak to your. Hey, you lack brain. Uh, the place to argue whether or not this is a lawful or unlawful traffic stop is in court. That is where you go to argue before the judge about that. It's not out on the streets. It is in the court. But seeing as how uh, you've already violated two laws already, I would say that even if you took it to court, you would still lose. Even if you had a good lawyer and didn't go pro se, like a lot of you mentally challenged sovtards tend to do. I, I have Deputy Sturdy here with me. Hey, so I, wanna, I guess what's... I want a sergeant. Bring okay. a sergeant. What for? Because I'm requesting one on site. But what, are, what is a sergeant going to tell you any different? And what's your what's your badge? What's your name and badge number? It's Deputy Wick, Wick? With Lancaster County Sheriff's Office. What's your number? Nine zero twenty one twenty two. Nine zero twenty one twenty two. Well, you can go ahead and call dispatch and ask to speak to Sergeant Gaston. I believe is on today. No, ma'am. Request him on site, please. What's that? Request him on site, please. Okay, but what is what? I guess I'm not going to understand what a sergeant on site is going to matter. Because he has more authority than you. Okay. 
So if the sergeant comes out here, then you're going to identify yourself and provide a driver's license. Have I committed a crime? Sense. Have I committed a crime? The crime is the violation of the traffic law that I pulled you over for. The Supreme Court's ruled in my favor, ma'am. Oh, really, dude? Uh, can you provide a citation for your outlandish claim? Because claims require evidence, and extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. So therefore, if you can't show it, you don't know it. So... Pump it up or shut up, dude, because the Supreme Court hasn't ruled in your favor, and you damn well know it. Well, the Supreme Court says that I can stop you for not having a front plate and expired registration. Show me the case law. So, are you going to comply with my request? No, ma'am. Okay. Because it's an unlawful request. Is your body cam on? It sure is. Okay. So is yours. It's fine. I know. What's this guy's name and badge number? Deputy Sturdy. Sturdy? Badge number? I didn't run first. Huh. It says Robert. Yeah. Hey, Chris, for roll the window down. I don't answer please. questions. What's your badge number, sir? 902147. 902147. She stopped you. One. Is you got expired plates. You're not suspended. You're not anything like that. Um, it's registered to Robert, who's sitting right over there. It's not that big a deal. Let's go make a bigger deal than what we. You're have. not getting my ID without a warrant. Okay. Or probable cause that I've committed a crime. Okay. Not having plates is not a crime. Here, listen. You have your driver's license with you. Do you have a warrant? I don't need a warrant. Do you well, you need it. My lawyer told me to keep my stuff locked in a safe unless you have a warrant. Okay, do you have a valid license, which I know you do. So why do you need it? Um, so she don't know who you are. That's I not my problem. I, I don't need to are. identify to you. Okay. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Um, will you acknowledge that you're Christopher? No. You are? No. Okay. And that's Robert over there, the registered owner. So, it's not that big a deal. Do you go by Chris or Christopher? I don't answer questions, sir. I reserve all of my rights right it's, now. It's not that big a deal. Okay. Can I have a lawyer? What's that? Lawyer. Lawyer? Yeah, I want a lawyer present okay. to be questioned by police. Dude, you really don't know your rights, do you? You only get the lawyer when you are under arrest, you freaking moron. You really need to check up on this crap. I mean, you're making yourself look like a complete imbecile at this point. But hey, go ahead and continue drinking that lead-laced Kool-Aid and uh, obliterating more of your brain cells, uh, lowering your IQ and making you a lot less, uh, well, intelligent. This is way, you're making a way No, I'm, I'm standing on my right, sir, which you took an oath to uphold. Okay, and I'm doing that. No, you're violating my no, rights not, right now. As a motorist in the state of Nebraska, I'm not a motorist. I'm, pri I'm, I'm okay. traveling down the road. I'm not conducting commerce. Okay. I'm not for hire. Okay. Oh, come on now, dude. How stupid are you? Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, you're a sovereign citizen. That just uh, says everything right there. Uh, at any rate, uh... Nebraska, just like any other state, does have varying driver's license classifications, and they do distinguish between a commercial and, uh, well, non-commercial driver's licenses. So your arguments right here are still really asinine to begin with and have no weight to them whatsoever and uh, therefore should not be argued on the side of the road with these officers instead try them in a court where, where you'll fail anyway all righty chris i have your citation for that no valid registration okay there's a couple ways you can take care of it you can appear in court on april 24th at nine o'clock in, in lancaster county or you can pay the fine plus the court costs, you fill out the back and send it in that way. I am going to need a signature from you. It's not saying you're guilty. It's just saying you're going to take care of it right down there at that line. Go ahead and sign that.
go get the coffee now. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, UCC 1-308. Uh, yeah, dude, uh, that doesn't exactly hold any weight here either, considering this is not a commercial transaction. This is a traffic stop, you moron. So it really doesn't apply here. Alright, let me go get coffee for you, okay? It's still not free to go, so stay right here. Can I have all three of your business cards, please? Alrighty, Chris, here's your citation then. And since I'm not able to improve you have insurance, I'm gonna recommend you don't drive away because that's unlawful as well. Do you have business cards? I do not. So, but you need to get insurance or be able to show proof of insurance to operate a motor vehicle in the state of Nebraska. Okay? And I say next time you guys need to get a warrant. No, we don't. You do. We do not. You do. Okay, just leave it parked here then. Am I free to go? Yeah. Okay, thank you. It's recording. Oh, okay. That way, right? Yeah. Bye, ponytail. Now. I think I've had enough excitement for me today. Oh yeah, smooth move, dipstick. Driving away without any insurance. Yeah, I'm sure once the police get you on the next one, they won't be as uh, accommodating to you as they were here. Because, well, according to this statute right here, you're supposed to have uh, insurance for your vehicle. So... You may want to take that into consideration uh, when you get pulled over the next time. And, well, with you softards, there's always a next time. And when that happens, be sure to upload the arrest video or the uh, video where your uh, truck gets towed because that's going to be entertaining as hell. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you playing cereal? Who's that?